we want to find the derivative function of f of x equals 2x to the fifth times 4 to the power of 6x. Because our function is a product of two functions of x, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation. If we take a look at our notes below, it's given as the derivative of u times v with respect to x equals u times v prime plus v times u prime, which indicates the derivative is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. So for the given function f of x, we'll let u equal 2x to the fifth and v equal 4 to the power of 6x. Notice to differentiate 4 to the power of 6x, we will have to apply the chain rule because the exponent is not just x, it is 6x. For the first step, let's go ahead and set up the product rule where we have f prime of x equals u, or the first function of 2x to the fifth, times v prime, which is the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of 4 to the power of 6x with respect to x, and then plus v, or the second function of 4 to the power of 6x, times u prime, which is the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of 2x to the fifth with respect to x. And now for the next step, we'll find the derivatives here and here. We have f prime of x equals 2x to the fifth times, again, the derivative of 4 to the power of 6x requires a chain rule, which means we'll use the derivative formula for a to the u with respect to x. Looking below, the derivative of a to the power of u with respect to x equals natural log a times a to the power of u times u prime. Notice in our case, a is four and u is six x and therefore u prime is six. The derivative of four to the power of six x with respect to x is equal to natural log four times the original function of four to the power of six x times the derivative of six x, which is six. And then we have plus four to the power of six x times the derivative of two x to the fifth. To differentiate, we multiply by five, subtract one from the exponent, which gives us 10 x to the fourth. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's first write this as f prime of x equals, for the first product, two, six, and natural log four are all constants. And since two times six is 12, let's write this product as 12 times natural log four x to the fifth times four to the power of six x. And then plus, let's write the second product as 10 x to the fourth times four to the power of six x. So this is fine as one form of the derivative function, but we can also write this in factored form. The greatest common factor of these two products would be two x to the fourth times four to the power of six x. So let's go ahead and show it in factored form. Let's write this as f prime of x equals, again, the greatest common factor contains a factor of two, a factor of x to the fourth, as well as a factor of four to the power of six x. If we factor two x to the fourth times four to the power of six x from this first product, we're left with six natural log four x plus if we factor two x to the fourth times four to the power of six x from the second product, we're left with just five. Let's go and distribute to check this. For the first product we have 12 x to the fifth natural log four times four to the power of six x and then plus 10 x to the fourth times four to the power of six x, indicating the factored form is correct and therefore we can write the derivative function in either of these two last forms. I hope you found this helpful.